From the Paper News 24-7 Newsroom, here are your obituaries for Monday, July 11, 2011. I'm Frank Phillips reporting. Peggy J. Wilson of Alamo passed away Saturday afternoon at Methodist Hospital. She was 60. She was a homemaker who enjoyed gardening, working in her yard, and playing bingo. She attended Crawfordsville schools. Born April 21, 1951 in Crawfordsville, she was the daughter of Woodrow Cole and Dorothy Coons Cole. Survivors include two sons, Harry and Michelle Alexander of Ladoga and Christopher Alexander of Carpentersville. Two daughters, Sarah and Jerry Stapert of Greencastle and Cindy Alexander of Crawfordsville. Her partner, Curtis J. Wilson of Alamo, two sisters, Sarah and Louis Phipps of Brazil, and Phyllis Gill of Crawfordsville, a brother, Fred Cole of Crawfordsville, two stepdaughters, Ruby Riddle Watson, Wilson, and Barbara Ann Hunley, six grandchildren, seven step-grandchildren, and two great-grandchildren on the way. She was preceded in death by her first husband, Ronald Alexander, an infant son, Samuel Alexander, a sister, Irma Cornett, granddaughter, Adriana Alexander, stepfather, William Schmidt, and parents. Family and friends can pay their respects Thursday from 10 a.m. to noon at Burkhart Funeral Home, with funeral services starting at noon. Pastor Paul Leonard will officiate. Burial will follow at Wallace Lutheran Cemetery. Memorial contributions may be made to the Home for Friendless Animals, Post Office Box 217, Waynetown, Indiana, 47990. Online condolences at www.burkhardfh.com. Daisy Anna Wilbur, 97, of Newmarket, passed away Saturday, July 9th at 7.20 p.m. at the Williamsburg Healthcare, Crawfordsville. She was born January 27, 1914, in Berea, Kentucky, to Charlie Walker and Martha Ann Hill Bolin. She married Cecil Wilbur on August 11, 1934, near Waynetown, Indiana. He preceded her in death on January 31, 2005. Mrs. Wilbur was a farm wife and had worked at the shirt factory in Crawfordsville and the canning factory in Austin, Indiana. She was educated in the Berea, Kentucky schools and a member of the Freedom Baptist Church. She also loved a quilt. She is survived by her daughter, Rita Livingston of Newmarket, grandchildren Don and Lisa Livingston, Darlene Price, and Sherry Johnson. Also surviving are six great-grandchildren and seven great-great-grandchildren. In addition to her husband, she was preceded in death by her parents, two brothers, five sisters, and a grandson. Funeral services will be held Wednesday, July 13 at 2 p.m. at the Powers Pre Funeral Home, 315 South Washington Street, Crawfordsville. Burial will be at the Freedom Cemetery. Friends may call at the funeral home on Wednesday from noon until 2 p.m. Online condolences may be sent to powersprebfh.com. Leroy Calvin Wolf, 74, of Waveland, died Saturday at the residence at 8.52 a.m. He was born at Crawfordsville to Glenn and Jane Serber Wolf, December 7, 1937. He married Sharon Skaggs, and they are divorced. He was a self-employed construction worker. He was a graduate of Crawfordsville High School in 1956. Survivors include sons Greg and Carol Wolf, Donald and Tiny Wolf, Shane Wolf, all of Crawfordsville, Terry Wolf of Waynetown, a daughter, Connie and Patrick Haslam of, Wayne, of Waveland, a sister, Esther Goins of Crawfordsville, seven grandchildren and five great-grandchildren. MacLeet and Service Funeral Home at Waveland assisted with the arrangements. Cremation was chosen. There will be no services or visitation. Online condolences may be sent to www.macleetservice.com. James Deckard, 84, of Crawfordsville, passed away Sunday at Williamsburg Healthcare. He was born October 12, 1926. Funeral arrangements are pending at Hunt and Son Funeral Home. Juanita 
Jean Jones, 84, of Crawfordsville, passed away Sunday at Ben-Hur Nursing Home. She was a homemaker who had attended Crawfordsville High School. Born September 15, 1926, at Crawfordsville, she was a daughter of Oscar and Edna May Davis McMurray. She married Meredith Jones on December 3, 1966. He passed away in July 1986. Survivors include daughters Debbie and Daryl Borf and Kim and Gail Conway, both of Crawfordsville, and Sue and Robert Fisher of Mabane, North Carolina, a son, Don and Brenda Schenk of Johnson City, Tennessee, nine grandchildren and 13 great-grandchildren. A graveside service will be conducted at 11 a.m. Wednesday at Oak Hill Cemetery North with burial to follow. And those are your obituaries for Monday, July 11, 2011. I'm Frank Phillips reporting.